Good morning, folks. The word is in. This is officially the largest sunspot of this entire solar cycle. We had made similar speculations about it being the largest of the year and maybe the cycle, but now those are confirmed. She's been popping some solid solar flares, but not much ejecta. Any would-be CME material seems to slide right back down into the sun. Flaring ticked back up this morning as an M4 flare rang out. Yet again, there is no CME and most of the ejecta, if not all, is heading right back to the solar surface. The grouping takes up a sizable portion of the Earth-facing disk and maintains significant magnetic complexity. Look at all this mixing. Deep blue, deep red, those are the umbras. And where they mix, we classify them as delta, ready to fire. We also have a near-term sunspot peak on deck with all these spots coming in now. Next few days, it'll happen. Solar wind speed in yellow creeping up this morning. Enough above average to warrant further monitoring of the geomagnetic stability as plasma is already beginning to penetrate the shield and be absorbed in the upper atmosphere. Additionally, the electron flux shows near-Earth energy at a high point among the last few weeks to months. The other top sun stories include this massive plasma filament swinging in to face Earth. Compare the size of the rope to our planet. And also, down south, dark patch coming in, that's our next coronal hole, negative polarity. Did you catch the eclipse last night? I would have loved to see it, but clouds rolled in heavy in the afternoon. Luckily, photos can be seen from all over North America. Some of the shots coming in are terrific. We'll quickly mention a volcano on alert in South America after a near 6 magnitude quake shook directly beneath the volcano. Couple news notes. First, scientists have confirmed something the observers know all about. They say that the water has layers, electrically driven, and this follows perfectly the fourth phase discussion we had with Dr. Pollock. Structured water, the exclusion zone, the charge, further elucidated now. If you didn't catch the interview, we highly recommend it. It is part of our valuable info playlist along with a lot of other long-term concerns and topics of interest, including the magnetic shield weakening and potential pole reversal. Got about 20 emails asking my thoughts on this article. John Coleman founded the Weather Channel, was the first meteorologist on Good Morning America, pretty much the Duke of U.S. meteorology. But there is an issue here. It is absolutely true that there has been no real global warming for nearly two decades, a point that even the IPCC won't deny, as you can see in the plateaus there. And looking at just the last 20 years, not only do you see the plateau in NASA, EU, and multiple university databases, you even see a slight cooling. Now, while that is true, Climate change is a major issue. We heavily stress its importance, and in our climate change playlist, we seek to show where the predictions went wrong, why it's important to keep studying, and what might be coming in the future. A top recommendation, and since we have shown two of our playlists, we might as well show the third, the Sun series. Learn just about all you need to know about the Sun in about an hour. All three playlists are linked for you right below this video. Indian Ocean cyclone formation potential rising slowly this was the scene in new england you'll remember their flash flood warnings from the past few days they seem to have come through but we also had watches in the northwest this is a tornado that ripped through washington state today we note three lows in the territory. The middle low is the main driver of heat and moisture up through the states, and also the departing nor'easter to the right. Wind map shows the low near Alaska. The middle low is tough to see, but her northward pull on the east side is readily apparent. Easy to see the eastern low as well. Here are your storm zones tonight, pretty much sticking to the eastern convergence of the wind. Still got the big North Atlantic low, and that other one still to the southeast. The wind drive is very clear here, counterclockwise sucking in, converging, and while rain will be widespread in the continent, the storm alerts stick to those convergences. The story down under right now is the convergence in southeastern Australia. The high meets the low, and the air masses collide from different directions, ready to drop some significant storms tonight. Got a couple current conditions and shots of our star to close at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 
5.30 a.m. here in Tennessee. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.